Hi, Minnie. Are you being a good mommy? So, Fudgy is just nursing from Minnie, and I figured I'd videotape this if anyone was, like, interested in, um, like, the baby Degu lays on its back. And then, yeah, that's it. That's how they nurse. They nurse upside down. It's a little odd. Okay, so if you guys are interested and you want to see the arrangements for everyone else's cage, I want to show you that now. So, here's Minnie in her cage. And she has a shoe box in there. She's still in the 29 gallon fish tank. And then over here, Tweety has moved from this little cage. Oh, you see me there. He was during like doing a little recovery thing. And, um, but he's feeling better now, so he was able to move to this cage, which it's, um, two inches smaller, like, lengthwise across here, but it does have, like, the ramp and the little half level, and he's got a little igloo over there, and he's, he's doing better. He can't jump up there by himself, but he can go up the ramp. So, he's doing really good. He can hop around. So, once he gets better, hopefully I can move him into a bigger cage. And then, Scrumptious is also in a cage like this, which is small for the Degus. I know it's, like, super small for them. But, this is what I have because with the um, Minnie having her baby, it, like, threw me off. I didn't have enough cages. And... The cages are quite expensive, like the fish tank was really expensive, and then the cages are really expensive because I have to get a rat cage, or I have to get a chinchilla cage or something, and it has to have the half bar spacing so they don't get out, and it's just like really troublesome, so right now I'm actually thinking about why I want to order um, a cage today off the computer, but I do need my dad's permission because... You know, I'm only 15, and he doesn't want me to order it by myself, and he wants to check out the website, and, you know, all that stuff. But I'm thinking about ordering from PetSolutions.com, and if it's good, I will put a link um, in my next video if I like it, and it's fair pricing. I'm looking at a cage. It's a, I think it's a rat or a ferret cage. I'm pretty sure it's a ferret cage, and it's 30 inches by 30 inches by 18 inches, so it's a little over 2 feet tall and two feet wide and it has three three half levels like this and then a bottom like tray at level and what I'm going to do is when I get that cage because I really need to bring the Degus to the vet's office to see who's a boy and who's a girl because now I'm totally baffled and I have no idea who's who I thought they were all boys but I guess not because woo, we have a baby so some of them are girls, I'm not quite sure. I think Minnie may be, well I think Baby over in this cage is the only boy. I think everyone else might be a girl actually, so I really don't know. So I have to bring to the vet, it's going to be $68 for all five of them to go and just tell who's a boy, who's a girl. But I have to wait till the baby's old enough and my parents won't take them before then. And again, you know, 15 and I can't drive so I can't bring them myself so I'm waiting on my parents and so I'm going to try to get the big cage and what I'm going to do is when I get the cage Minnie and the baby will stay where they are okay scrumptious he wants to come out and play which I'm going to let him run around um after the video but hi but yeah so scrumptious is going to go in the rat cage or ferret cage whatever and then this cage what I'm thinking I could actually combine this cage with this cage because of the way these are connected here it's not actually like um melted or i don't know like on it's just like a little hook i don't think you can see that yeah a little hook you can see that i think right there so i think what i can do is take this piece off there this piece off here tie wrap this front side to this side and same in the back and then tweety will have this cage like these put together and then baby's gonna stay where he is and then 
which is in that cage over there. It's a 10 gallon, but it's bigger than the cages. Scrumptious and Tweety are in. So, maybe we'll stay where he is, but Tweety will get a bigger cage and be able to run around and, you know. And then once they go to the vet, the boys will go in one one cage because I'll probably get two of the like another one of the ferret or rat cages and the boys will go in one the girls in another so once I get that figured out that's like I'll have a boy cage a girl cage and it'll be good everyone will have a spacious cage for now but in the meantime I have little toys here and there that I'm like putting in and out and see scrumptious and tweety they want to like be together and they like cry at the bars for each other, which is like really sad. So I'm hoping they're both either girls or they're both boys. That way they could be together because I think they really would get along and be happy. But in the meantime, I've been switching out Tweety's house. And right now he's got a pig loo. And my aunt gave me this cage because she had hamster and it passed away. So she gave me this cage. But I'm gonna switch it. I've been switching out his houses. And he has a bell in there now, which he loves. He tries to hang on. He's a little crazy. And then Scrumptious has a nut knot nibbler over there that he's like destroying. I'll take it out so you can see. Hi, Scrumptious. Look. That's falling apart. But that's okay because soon he'll get the nut. And um, I just want like, I just. He got that bed a couple days ago, and then I bought a second one, and that way he'd have one to switch out, and that's the second one. Same color, though. They didn't have it in pink when I went back. And, yeah, so I've been trying to switch out toys and put stuff in, and, yeah, and try to keep them, like, as busy as possible so they don't get bored. But despite what I'm trying, I think they are getting a little bored, which is really sad and hard for me. That's why I really want to get them the right age, but again, waiting on Mom and Dad. And then this cage right here... There is nobody in it. This was Tweety's cage. This one was Tweety's cage. Now Tweety's here. He just got this cage last night. Because I went to my grandma's and my aunt was there. And she said, oh, you can have the cage. So I took it because I figured it was like more. He had not more like lengthwise room. But room like to like, you know, jump up. And it'd be more like nourishing to his mind. If that makes any sense. I don't know like. I'm not sure what I'm saying. But you know, like, he'd be happy. So. But they're, like, getting fluff all over my dresser. This is, like, the third time I sweeped it up. Like, today. And it's, like, 3 o'clock. And I sweeped it up three times off my dresser. Because even though these are, like, really high. And you could like, see compared to my fingers, like, how long that is. It's still, like, they can still kick it out. And it's getting all over. And it's like on my floor, if you can see it. And I have to like keep vacuuming and stuff, and it's like super annoying. But I love them, so I deal with it. So yeah, so I'm really hoping that I can do a new video with a ferret, rat cage, whatever, and just show you that. And it's 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 really awesome. Like on the computer, and it comes with a free food bowl and a wheel, and I'm like really excited, and I'm really hoping that I can get that. So, I have my fingers crossed, and I'm so, like, ah, excited. Hopefully, I can get it. What's up, Tweety? What's up? What are you doing? Oh, you sad. Poor thing. Okay, well, I've been rambling on and on, so I don't want to make this too long. So, I'm going to go. All right. Say bye, scrumptious. Bye.